Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. We're just giving a couple of minutes on the latecomers. Okay, people, let's get started this evening. I hope you, you all are good, are fine. I hope mothers had a nice Mother's Day with your family. This is the... Um, almost the last class, the before the last one class. So we are going to finish tomorrow this module. So I hope you are up to date with the homeworks, with the platform, right? Right. Okay. Let's get started tonight then with this conversation. Let me show you the picture first. Let's talk about the picture first. Okay, so tell me, what do you see in the picture? Actually this, Let's start with this picture. What do you see here? Sign outs, cars. <laughs> okay, the two cars. Uh -huh. What do you think Rest these two Restriction. Lines? Restriction on the road. Uh, restrictions on the road, okay. What do you think these two lines mean? It does means no that cross? people are not allowed to trespass to another way. Uh, okay. 
you're not allowed to pass another car, you're not allowed to oh, pass these two lines. And what about this? This dotted line and the continuous line, what, what do they mean? You can pass, but uh, with that, uh, be careful first. <laughs> okay, so you can don't pass, cross, but... mm -hmm. don't cross another side, or this or burst. I don't know how do you say vice versa, verdad? Um, uh -huh. no cross to the another side because mm. it could be. Well, I think this, with another car. These two lines mean that. Okay. So this is not allowed to pass, and the ones on this line are not allowed to pass. But these ones, this lane can pass, but with caution. With caution. Ah. Caution, yeah, because they are yellow. If they were white, if the the dotted line were white, so maybe you can pass without problem. But if you are on this lane, this one, can you pass? It's dangerous because uh, you can find a car in front of you. Okay. What about these two signs? What the was what does this mean? What does uh, this sign mean? It is allowed to cross to the right. Okay. It is allowed. It's not allowed. It's not allowed. Okay. Don't turn to right. Right. right, on turn right. Okay. And this one? This way is just for cross to the left. Okay. Only cross the left. <laughs> the first one. Okay, so we have two lanes here. This one is to turn left only. This one is to turn left. Okay. And this one is to go straight or to turn left. That's what I understand. I don't drive, by the way. I don't drive. But really? That's what I understand. Yeah, it's right. Mm -hmm. Go straight, and this is for turn left. Okay. Okay, very good. Let's talk. Um, let's read the conversation. Let me record the conversation for you. You know, these highways are really great, but the road signs are pretty confusing. What do these lines on the road mean? They must mean you aren't allowed to pass here. No, I don't think so. I'm going to pass this car in front of us. It's going too slow. Now, I wonder what that sign up ahead, sign up ahead means. It may mean you've got to take a left easily. Or maybe it means you can turn left if you want to. I think I'll just go straight. Okay. Let me read it one more time. You know, these highways are really great, but the road signs are pretty confusing. Hmm, what do these lines on the road mean? 
they must mean you aren't allowed to pass here. No, I don't think so. I'm going to pass this car in front of us. It's going too slow. Now, I wonder what that sign up ahead means. It may mean you've got to take a left in the lane. Or maybe it means you can turn left if you want. I think I'll just go straight. Okay. Now. Um, let's practice. Repeat after me. You know, these highways are really great, but the road signs are pretty confusing. You know, you know, this highway are really great, but the road signs are really confusing. Confused. Hmm. What do these lines on the road mean? What do you? Hmm. What do these lines on the road mean? They must mean you aren't allowed to pass here. They must mean they you must are mean they must you mean are aren't allowed to pass here. Yeah. No, I don't think so. I'm going to pass this car in front of us. It's going too slow. Now, I wonder what that sign up ahead means. No. No, don't I don't so. know. think so. I'm going, going to pass this start. car in front of us. It's going to slow. Now, now I, I wonder, wonder what that sign up ahead means. How mean? It may mean you've got to take a left. Is it may mean you've mm. got to it take may mean you have to take a left in, in, the, in this lane. Or maybe it means you can turn left if you want to. I think I'll just go straight. Or, or, maybe, or maybe it means you can turn left, left if you want to. I think I'll just I go straight. Go straight. Go straight. Go straight. Now, I am Vicky and you are John, okay? I begin. You know, these highways are really great, but the road signs are pretty confusing. Mm, what do these mm, lines line on line road mean? The road mean? Mm -hmm. They must mean you aren't allowed to pass here. No, I don't, no, I don't think, think so. so. I'm going to pass it. I'm going to pass it. I'm going to pass it. It's going to slow now. I wonder what that sign up ahead means. Ahead means. Ahead means. It may mean you've got to take a left in this lane. Or maybe, or maybe it means you can turn left if you want to. I think it would just go straight. Okay, now let's switch. You are Vicky and I am John. You begin. One, two, three. You know, you you know, know this highway are really great, but, but the road times are really confusing. confused. Hmm. What do these lines on the road mean? They must they mean, must they must mean that you are not allowed to pass here. here. No, I don't think so. I'm going to pass this car in front of us. It's going too slow. Now, I wonder what that sign up ahead means. It may mean you've got to take a left in this lane. Or maybe it means you can turn left if you want to. I think I'll just go straight. Okay. Be good. Just let me point out a couple of words here. One is off. You aren't allowed. Uh, you see, it may be. 
you've got to maybe it mean okay we are going to study these words okay but first i want you to practice the conversation in pairs conversation between two people vicky and john so I'll send you to work in pairs. Please practice the conversation, changing roles. Okay, once in a while. Uh, let me see here. Okay, I'm going to share the conversation and what's up. Make it easier. Okay. There you go. Now you got the invitation to join the breaker room, so please do it and practice a conversation with your partner. See you in five minutes.
Okay, welcome back. Let's practice the conversation. We hear you. Okay, here's the... Let's start with Ernesto. Hello, Ernesto. Yes. Who's your Hello. classmate? Who's your partner in the group? Morena. Morena. Okay, Ernesto and Morena, please present the conversation. Are you there, Morena? I think so. No. I can do it if you want. Who's there? Luis. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Luis. Okay. You know, these highways are really great, but the road signs are pretty confusing. What these lines on the road mean? They must mean you aren't allowed to pass here. No, I don't think so. I'm going to pass this car in front of us. It's going to slow now. I wonder what that sign up ahead means. It may mean you've got to take a left in this line. Or maybe it means you can turn left if you want to. I think I'll just go straight. Perfect, very good, thank you. Now please, Florent Jensi. Okay. Okay. You know, these highways are really great, but the road signs are pretty confusing. Mm, what do these lines on the road mean? They must mean you aren't allowed to pass here. No, I don't think so. I'm going to pass this car in front of you. It's going to slow. Now, I wonder what that sign of hate meant. It may mean you, you've got to take a left in this lane. Or maybe it meant you can turn left if you want to. I think I'll use Google's train. Okay, very good, thank you. Now, please, Julio and Julissa. Okay. I am. No, please. Uh, I'm Vicky. All right. Okay. Okay. You know, these highways are really great, but the roads in are very confusing. Hmm. What does line on the road mean? They must mean. You are not was here. No, I don't know. I think so. <laughs> I am going to pass this car in front of us. It's going to slow. Now I wonder what does seeing how her mean. It may mean God to take a left in this lane. Or maybe his name you can turn the left in one, two, I think just go straight. Okay, thank you. Now, maybe and Jancy, Andrea, please. Okay, um, Jancy, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, you know, these highways are really great, but the road signs are pretty confusing. Mm, what do these lines of the road mean? The, they must mean you aren't allowed to pass here. No, I don't think so. I'm going to pass this car in front of us. Yeah, it's going to slow. Now I wonder what that sign up a hell means. It may mean you've got to take a left in this lane. Or maybe it means you can turn left if you want to. I think I just go straight. Okay, thank you. Luis and Marina, please. 
you know, these highways are really great, but the road signs are pretty confusing. Um, what do these lines on the road mean? They must mean you aren't allowed to pass here. No, I don't think so. I'm going to pass this car in front of us. It's going to slow. Now I wonder what that sign up ahead means. It may mean you've got to take a left in, in this lane. Or maybe it means you can turn left if you want to. I think I just go straight. Perfect. And finally, Guadalupe and Vanessa. You know, this highway are really great, but the road side are pretty confusing. Hmm. What do these lines on the road mean? They must mean you are allowed allow to pass here. No, I don't think so. I'm going to pass this car in front of us. It going, it's going to slow. Now, I wonder what that thing up ahead means. It may mean you better go to take a leg in this lane. Or maybe it means you can turn left if you want to. I think I'll just go straight. Okay, very good. Any question with the conversation, people? Any no. word? Any problem? With well, maybe the phrase when uh -huh. you say it. Um, I don't know how to say the penultima. In English? Before the last one. Okay, before the last one of the participation of John, the last line. I wonder what that sign up ahead me. Yo me trago en eso. Ajá. Yeah. You see, the, this is the. I wonder what that sign, I wonder what that sign up ahead, up ahead means. Okay, up ahead. I wonder what that sign up ahead here is the, this is the difficult part I know. Yes. Wonder what that sign up ahead mean. Okay. I wonder what that sign up ahead means. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Please go. Ahead. Okay. Um, I want to just reinforce a couple of words that some of you have difficulties with. One was the word, um, yeah, this one, mean, mean, mean. Yeah, it's here, mean, 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 mean. Somebody had difficulty with this, us. Not use, it's not use, it's us. In front of us. This car in front of us. Basically, no. Uh, and I want to ask you what is the difference between these words? Lines plus lane. Can anyone explain? The difference in between lines and lanes. No. Um, maybe lines is. Uh, <laughs> Can you describe in the picture? Describe in the picture the, the lines and the lanes.
To me, the lines are the yellow ones, and the lanes are the place when the where the car is moving. But I'm not really sure. Okay. Yes, it's the path when the the car or the line this or this a yellow bird the yellow yellow okay. the line line right and let's use a different color the lanes are the road the road this. okay very good. Well, the pictures, the conversation says these highways, but the pictures does don't show a highway. Actually, they they're just two lanes. Usually, in a highway, there are more lanes. Okay, you know the highway to the airport here in El Salvador, or the highway. To to Santa Ana, so there are four lanes, and the lines are the ones that make the the division right? with the la lane. Okay, so line versus lane. Okay, very good. Well, um. Now, I, I called your attention to these words, and we are going to see this. We have these words, some of them, uh, we can use them to talk about permission, to ask or give permission. Others are to express obligation, and others are to express prohibition. For permission, we can use can or are allowed to, an affirmative form. You're allowed to pass here, so you have the permission to pass. You can turn left here, so you have the permission to turn left. To express obligation, you have to turn left here. It's not an option, it's not a choice. So you have the obligation to do it. Another way to say it is you have got to, you have got to pass here. Okay, you've, the contraction, you've is you have. You've got to pass here. You have the obligation to pass here. And prohibition, you can't turn left here. Can't. It's prohibited. Or you aren't allowed to pass here. It is prohibited. There is a prohibition, okay? But remember, can and are allowed to in a primitive form are for permission. Have to or have got to Obligation can or are not allowed to for prohibition. Any question here? Remember that this form, this is the verb be, so this can change depending on the subject. Right? I am not allowed to, you are not are, are not allowed to, he is not allowed to okay depending on the subject we are using are going to use am is or are okay the same here with have depending on the subject this could be have or has right have or has and the same here depending on the subject you're going to use are um, or is. Okay. Any question, people? Okay. 
there's no question, there are no questions. Look at these signs and you have here the different meanings of these signs. So you have to match the signs with the meanings, okay? I'll give you a couple of minutes to do it individually, please. You can write the letter or write the meaning directly under the picture, under the sign. Go ahead, please. I'll give you a couple of minutes to do it. Write the meaning of the sign. Raise your virtual hand, please, when you finish. Let me know that you're done. Okay, I see five hands up. Six. Seven hands up. Okay, I'll send you a couple of minutes to the breakout rooms to compare your work, okay? Couple of minutes, okay? Join the breakout rooms, please, and compare your work. Okay, but can you search the switch of this? Oh, okay.
join the breakout rooms, please. Sorry, but I tried the calling at the war. Now, okay. I'm bringing them back. Okay, I think everyone's back. Let's check your work, okay? Let's write. Number one, what do you think number the number one sign mean? Do not touch. Do not touch. Do not touch. Do not touch. In. Okay. Do not touch. Do not touch. Number two. Swimming aloud. Swimming aloud. Okay. Swimming aloud. Let us see. 
You are allowed to swim. <laughs> okay. Number three. Wear her hat. Mm -hmm. Four. Recyclable. 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 Number five. Fast and seal belt. Number six. No bicycles. No bicycles. Number seven. Drinking, Drinking water. water. And number eight. Not playing, not playing ball. ball. The first one. Very good. Any question with this? No. Everything is okay. Great. Uh, let's move on to this reading. I'll send you to work in groups to read this text. It's about body language. Okay. Read the text and then read the article and circle the letter of the correct answer for these three questions. All right, then if you have time and you finish, discuss or talk about these, these questions, okay? I'll send you to work in groups. Okay. Read the article, read the questions, and discuss the second set of Okay, join the small rooms, please. See you in 10 minutes. Teacher, share the screenshot, please. Right, right. I'm just trying to get the copy.
Try to join the breakout rooms, please, Vanessa and Julissa. Your classmates are waiting for you.
Okay, people, it is time to stop tonight. We're going to check your work tomorrow. And okay. Tomorrow will be our okay, last. See you tomorrow. Good day. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.